hi guys welcome back to my channel do you know i'm just about to leave the house and i just remember something that i didn't just you guys about how this heaven though almost ruined my wedding plans so for my wedding one of my biggest issues was that a lot of the hairs i was seeing the front towel just looked too thick and i wanted like all these blended hd closures i'd be hd front towel for my wedding and I wanted it to look like it was melting to my scalp. I didn't want it to look artificial at all. I don't know if you get that kind of look like snatched frontal. And the problem was twofold. The first problem was that I had to buy it from someone that, you know, knows all about frontals, that can pluck it right, that can, you know, that can make it look as natural as possible. And the second part is also getting a hairstylist that knows how to install the frontal. So you know my wedding was supposed to be in April, right? So around February, I had ordered hair from this person on Instagram. Not to be dramatic, but this babe, her hair looks amazing. Like it looks so natural, it looks so silky. Coloring job, perfect. And it was quite pricey, to be honest. So I ordered this um, stretch unit that was about 200k. I think it was 190 to be precise for 20 inches with frontal, which I think is for frontal hair that is really good quality i won't say it's average but it's like what i was expecting you know as long as it was good quality hair so i ordered hair from her and the hair was supposed to come and that was at the time that corona was just starting and she now said oh that uh because of corona her goods were not able to come in that she's not able to deliver on time i said well my wedding is postponed anyway so that's fine we were talking on the phone we were texting okay so fast forward now they did the first lockdown they did the second lockdown i think around august mind you this whole thing happened around march so around august after april may june july four months so when everything was seeming like it was back to normal and i said hey let me even message this babe and i messaged her and then called her so i said ah how far i know i don't have a wedding date yet though but i believe things should be back to normal now some of the things i ordered from my brother were stuck abroad were finally back i said you know we should be expecting this hair very soon how far and he said eh that she's so sorry but yeah she's gonna deliver soon i told her my wedding was that august i believe well, or was it july ending i told her my wedding was that august um that please i need the hair every week ago, i'll message her i'll call her and she'll be telling me yeah sure i'm going to deliver your hair yeah sure i'm going to deliver your hair man that's how this babe september she still had not delivered the same so one faithful day like that I think in early September I called and I was like see I'm tired of all this my wedding she already disappointed me for my wedding and even now she could not still deliver the hair that at this point I'm tired of everything and I just don't want the hair again I want to refund she said oh that she's so sorry that she's still working on it and um, I'm going to have my hair shortly apparently I sent her a different so i now sent her a different address because i was going to go to the east for my dad's birthday for a bunch of things in early october so i knew okay i don't have time for this story so i sent her a new address she now called me or rather actually i called her and she was not like oh i'm so sorry but there was a bit uh, there was a bit of problem with the dispatch riders that they had a bit of problem along the way that um basically the hair got sold whether it was water but it got damaged in transit so she told them to return it to me now in fact she didn't even know that they've not even delivered herself that she thought they had delivered it. i said no they haven't delivered it and at this point i'll keep calling my friend because it wasn't even my new address i put i put my, my friend's address so that it was more accessible to her and besides the original address that i had given her had already moved away from there she said to me oh that it got damaged in transit that she's so sorry she's going to work on it and send it again okay i said no problem i called her. she said oh it's not ready next week so me i had to go to the east I, I was like anyway i've already given her a new address so let me just go ahead and carry on with my business <sighs> so this story is even exhausting me you guys so i eventually i went to the east and my friend came to the east as well but the thing is her house there were other people in the house that could receive the package and it was just like her gate man the lady that lives with her so no one at all her brother i think no one at all that could take the hair and I went to the village, asked my friend, has this hair come? She said, no, has this hair come? This was October. Finally, my friend got back and was like, oh, the hair came. Can I open it? And I said, yes. So, um, my friend opened this shower. And then we forgot about this thing till November. I believe till November. And I just said, okay, because I was going to my friend's house. Like, the hair is safe now. Let me just pick up the hair. Guys, you'll never believe what happened. 
my friend had told me sorry first of all that the hair she received is not the one i was asking for to be delivered that she made a mistake that after she told me can she open the hair and look at it she now found out that it was one her sister had ordered um we confirmed names of the company that we ordered from and it was actually the one her sister ordered and that's why she made a mistake that she should have told me but she didn't tell me so first of all this hair vendor knew that my hair wasn't still delivered at this point you guys i know you, you might be losing me at this point but please stay with me this story the, like you can imagine my anger she knew my hair still wasn't delivered and me i was going on with the idea that my hair was delivered quite twice my friend could have told me oh it was her sister's hair but really it wasn't her fault she probably just kept her mind she probably just thought okay the hair is going to come i mean myself i moved on with my life i came back into lagos i didn't even bother saying let me collect it i just assumed that it was safe with her you know because she had said that she had received the package so when she now told me that it was her sister's hair immediately i called um the hair vendor and she now said eh actually she wasn't even picking up i sent her a dm on instagram she didn't message me back i sent her um text messages she didn't answer me back and then basically my friend now took things on her head because she felt like okay because she didn't tell me that um basically that the hair she got was her sister she felt a bit responsible and yes yeah, she could have told me but i really didn't blame her i felt like the hair vendor maybe assumed that i didn't forget about the hair and please tell me how can someone forget about 190k hair how is it possible a whole wedding hair how many times did I buy that kind of hair in my life? So, um, I called her and I was like, uh uh, now wow, that I've still not received this. She said, oh, that she traveled on a project and everything. Mind you, she had been ignoring my messages. My friend had to call her through Snapchat. I think she was in a foreign country at the time. And she was like, oh, there, that she traveled on a project and she'll be back shortly and you will get the hair say the next day after she comes back that in fact let her confirm from the uh, the uh, delivery company that they are as a matter of fact they're saying that they delivered that hair it's just that uh, that someone received it my friend was like no that's not possible there's no one in my house that could have received that hair and not told me about it and taking that hair like literally is it the old lady that lives in the house that will take the hair or is it gate man he, he's always brought everything they deliver to my house so he didn't bring the hair she now said eh, no but you know what she's gonna start working on another hair right now and once she comes back we'll get the hair i was not like first of all because my, my friend was not telling me i was not like first of all i don't believe that this babe was planning to deliver any hair in her head let's just forget about it and mind you this was here since february i've been march and this was now november ending like the same hair we're talking about all this time quite right there was corona but me i was just thinking hey my wedding is in about two months time bro. like how 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 am i going to do this like without hair my wedding is also in the east so who's going to bring the hair for me? Which kind of... I've entered one chance. I was really just thinking about my life. Like, oh my goodness. Like, why? Why me? Why me? Why me? Why am I so unlucky? That's what I was thinking. So, Sha, tell me, is it possible? You guys, comment down below. Is it possible that they actually deliver that hair? And she was like, oh, but I'll start working on a new one for you right now. I'll start working on a new unit and I'll deliver it once I get back. She Sha said she was coming back on a certain day. She didn't come back that day. She came back like four days after. So when she finally came back, me, I called her, I said my friend has been talking to you on my behalf and I've been trying to reach you. So I said, oh, 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 she's so sorry, blah, blah, blah. I said, please, when can I expect this hair? I'm tired. I'm really tired. She so said, oh, that she's so sorry that she's going to deliver the hair. Anyway, you guys, she said, come, let's say, on Saturday. We called her, called her on Saturday, she didn't answer. Um... She said Sunday. We called her, called her, called her. She didn't answer. She now said, oh, that she was the client after missing several calls. Anyway, she finally, on like a Monday, we received the hair. My friend went to pick up the hair. After that, my friend was asking me, am I going to expose? And I said, you know what? No, actually, no. Because at the end of the day, this is someone that I feel is me that made mistake. They didn't tell me well. Like having good hair is one thing, but having poor customer service and expecting that your clients will forget hair of 190k, that's something else. Like, it was just, to me, that was just poor character. I don't understand. But I'm not a wicked person. I'm the kind of ideal customer that will be patient and wait for you to deliver. Because every time I, I'll call her, she'll make one excuse or the other. Even when she didn't reply to me, I didn't vex. And I was just like, you know what? like some people in this life don't deserve people's kindness you don't deserve people's kindness like although i'm happy she finally delivered this hair eh 
in time for the wedding but the, i've never been so stressed in my life over something that i used my money to pay for it was like i used my money to buy stress like i never buy gain for this kind of thing i feel like uh, the makeup artists the photographers nobody else has even stressed me like this heaven or did seriously not because i wanted natural frontal did i deserve this kind of behavior you guys what would you have done in my shoes would you drag her and even now i refuse to mention her business name because i don't roll like that i feel like this god that will pay her back and i don't want to ruin her business name in fact my friend was even telling me she had known it was this girl she have told me never to order hair from her and the girl was supposed to color her hair and it took forever like she had to in call another friend to intervene and bring back that th to intervene and make the girl bring back her hair for her like you know all these people that their work is good but just the way they handle their projects just makes you like so certain that you're never going to work with them this was the kind of vibe i got from this person and it's unfortunate because her work is really good but yeah you guys i'm even so i don't even know if you understood this story but basically that's how this heaven does stressed my life ah 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 on top hair i don't even have the hair yet my friend is still with it i'll pick it up tomorrow but at least it's my friend's hands now and she picked it up and it's my own i'll collect it tomorrow and i got someone that installed the hair hey you guys that reminds me if you find out who's doing my makeup you're going to be like oh my god nello i met her through nello not me her through nello nello is the one that connected me to her even though they don't even know each other personally but yeah i'm so excited about that I just refuse for any devil to spoil this win this wedding for me i'm just going to enjoy it and this event though was sent from hell but i thank god that we triumphed and i finally got the hair i've talked too much i'm about to go to my cousin's house but yeah let's go to my cousin's house and yeah i'll talk to you guys when i'm there i'm going to go and see my godson jimito he's so grown now he's so active i'm just gonna see him and say hello to my cousin because i'm bored i'm all alone at home so why not okay guys i just got to my cousin's house ah that whole story just raised my temper up i don't know if i'm overreacting but i feel like i'm definitely underreacting if anything that was just my temper is up i just gonna see the baby so that i can cheer up because mm -mm, mm -mm. just remembering it even annoys me but i'm still thankful the hair came in time for the wedding you know if you didn't come in time for the wedding why would i go and buy some hundred key hair again do you understand now anyway let me go inside i'll see you guys in a bit jim jim say hi to your godmother Jim, Jim, I came to see you. Say hi, Godmother. Hi, baby. Look at his cheeks. Oh my God. Yeah, come, come. Say hi, Godmother. Come, come. No, no, <laughs> no play with the camera. Yeah, come, baby. Go. Ah! You guys, can you want baby? She lie down. Hi, baby. One hand is not easy. Hey, baby. Hi. You're so excited. Say hi to the camera. I said this boy likes attention. See the way he's kicking his little legs. Hi, baby. Do you guys remember him? I think I vlogged his baptism like some months back. Now look how big he is. Jim Jim. Jim Jim. He's such an active baby. He doesn't even act like his mate, but he has refused to crawl. And if you see his mom saying that, the Jimito now crawls. You think he's running on his knees. Meanwhile. I'm he just for him. I see him moving. I, I put him on the ground. I'm not trying to him on the ground. I'm scared. So, like, how can you, you guys first mom syndrome? How, what does she mean? She's vacuum and make everything oh. clean for the It's time. clean now. Don't you sweep it? It's clean. But she said that she, her, her baby cannot crawl on the floor. Please, is that not where babies crawl? <laughs> baby, baby, you can't take the camera. I'm sorry. My my heart is just skipping a bit. I feel like it will just roll over and fall down. Let me move him in. So my mood is automatically better because of this baby. Hi baby. Hi baby. Hi Gigi. No, no honey in your mouth. No so honey in your mouth. Mommy. See how active he is now because of camera. Hey, hey, hey. Kiss, kiss, kiss mommy. You guys, eh? <laughs> if you've not born around this child, honestly, you start praying to God because you know she treats this as baby. Hey, kiss, kiss. You guys, why do babies have bald head? Like, why? And then, magically, after one year, the hair will start growing. Well, is it that the first hair they come out with is not strong? <laughs> <laughs> See, your grandmother did not buy Christmas wear for you. 
Uh, not by Christmas. I bought Christmas shoes for him. <laughs> that's like uh, something that he can wear from two years or so. Uh, no, that's one year, one year plus. My cousin said that I, I need to sew kaftan for him for my wedding. The time I want to be he's, how can he's going to wear. I should, that means I should sew tux and kaftan for him. Yes, now. So he can do twin with your husband. Imagine. Will he even come out for the wedding? Someone that will be inside him. Hey, you guys. Is not somehow the godfather, you are the godmother. Mm hmm. Spiritual parents. Sorry, it's chicken. Yeah, can you guess? Okay, I already said how old he is. I was going to make you guys guess. It was not it, man. So that's not nice. Anyway, yeah, you guys, I've seen Jumeto now. My mood is all better. I'm in such a better mood. But yeah, guys, not to end this note on, not to end this vlog on this sad note or angry note. Charlie, please, can you give me water, please? Cold water. I don't understand. Please, now. You I'm just begging. came from downstairs. I didn't. I was carrying too many things. See, I'm carrying my laptop and so many other things. So yeah, ha, Jimeto, your hand must be so yummy. Look at him. He's having the time of his life. I uh, say bye bye. Say bye. Bye. Anyway, you guys, let me end this vlog now because, to be honest, oh, yeah, I don't want to rant anymore. I think I've talked enough in one vlog. I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye.